Okay, I think everything is ready. So, okay. Hello, everybody. This is Lubos Pickle from CFD Support. Uh, welcome to the webinar on Turbo Machinery CFD, which is a CFD simulation workflow for all standard rotating machinery. The test case for today will be a radial compressor. Just in case of any technical problems, feel free to contact me. Uh, we will answer all your questions uh, by, by email or, or something. So the webinar is going to take about one hour. Uh, in the first part, I will show how to simulate the compressor in Turbo Machine CFD. In the second part, there will be a Q&A session dedicated to, to your questions and my answers. Uh, feel free to put your questions below to the to the to the comments, or there is a special Q and A window where you can you can put your answers, and I will answer them later in this webinar. Uh, I will I will share you my my screen now and and start with 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 presenting. So I believe you can you can see you can see my my desktop now. Uh, here is the Turbo Machinery CFD. Uh, graphical interface. This is how it looks like uh, before we come here. Um, maybe, maybe uh, I will, I will, I will give a brief description of what Turbo Machine CFD is. So I'll go to my web browser uh, and and start from from our website. So you can type Turbo machinery CFD and very at the top the machine CFD from CFD support is our is the product website uh, okay so the machine CFD is a unique software based on open phone it was designed for CFD simulations of all standard rotating machinery such as pumps fans, uh, compressors, turbines, water turbines, both radial and axial machines, both compressible and incompressible flows. Um, let me put just a quick review of its unique value proposal. So number one is Turbo Machinery CFD has no licensing policy, which means our clients can keep Turbo Machinery CFD forever and use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores. And obviously, that gives their investment in Turbo Machinery CFD a permanent value. Number two is Turbo Machinery CFD is fully automated, which means all the workflow uh, from the start to the final results report can be run by a single command or a single click. Uh, number three is Turbo Machinery CFD is open source. That makes it easily customizable to your own purposes, to your workflow you're fam familiar with. So it's extremely customizable, extremely flexible. Uh, number four is the, there are real tutorials included. So the user has no doubts about the best practice settings. Uh, so there are real machines included uh, that are already preset. You can basically take one of them, replace the geometry, and modify the settings and, and run. Uh, there are many other benefits of using Turbo Machine CFD. I'm not going to go for all of them. Feel free to contact me, and I will, I will gladly answer all your questions in detail via email, or we can, we can call sometime. Uh, yeah. So perhaps the most important information from today's webinar is all the information is available online on our web website, CFD support. So I have pasted some major links below to the comments in this webinar. So you can, you can watch from there. You can browse our website. Uh, yeah, Turbo Machine CFD is available uh, both for Linux and Windows operation system. Turbo Machine CFD is very transparent. There is a trial version available for free for one month period of time. So anybody can try it. 
and afterwards he or she can decide to buy or not so it's very transparent and clients have all the information because before they take any decision so it's very clear very transparent we we answer everything in detail uh, also the project is open source so you can you can read anything uh, yeah so anybody can download it in our download section from our website download software there are two versions uh, available for linux and for windows so for example in windows a little bit more popular than the linux uh, you can you can read everything you can put your email download the file the the, the installation file uh, there is a pdf called start step by step where you can read everything how to install how to run your first case uh, simply everything so yeah, this is i believe this is very transparent uh, uh, i'll go back so this is how it looks like this is the turbo machinery cfd graphical interface uh, so the turbo machinery cfd workflow is fully served from graphical interface uh it, it has its gui the graphical interface uh is uh is the paraview so the, it's set of basically set of plugins to to paraview uh, uh you, you can you can work for, from this GUI. You can also work from terminal, but the most of people prefer to work from graphical interface. The decision is always on you. It's this, the decision is taken by by, by our clients. Uh, more more people uh, use use uh, Windows version. In today's webinar, I will work from. I'm gonna work for from Windows. Uh, also, the Linux is the very the same workflow, so everything is the same in Linux, by the way. Uh, okay, so perhaps it's time to start working now. So uh, maybe maybe I should show you. We will deal with with the radial compressor. So uh there there is a tutorial which you can uh, download also from our website uh, easily you can you can click download the uh, download test cases and then uh, or cases and then, then the radial compressor tutorial uh typically the the aim of the compressor designer is hunting for the pressure ratio uh, flow rates torques and of course the, the compressor efficiency each turbo machine cfd simulation has its data inputs and those are the configuration file or the configuration setup in a graphical interface and the surface model the, the surface model is something which comes from the designer from which is gonna which is the machine which is gonna be tested and then it's settings so basically uh, the turbo machine cfd workflow is handled by cfd processor cfd processor reads the input and does everything it does pre-processing processing post-processing post and also also the the technical report with 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 all the all the results okay so i'll go back to my uh to my case uh uh yes so the the configuration file is plain text file maybe i should show you at the uh, at our website there is a well, 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 well yeah of course it's here in the turbo machine cfd you can you can click turbo machine cfd workflow example where is all the uh, all the important information written and with some examples what is important the the configuration file is simple text file where 
where you can specify all the simulation features. Where is the, for example, where is the surface model located? How many processors? Uh, how many iterations? How many points? How many speed lines? What are the velocity? What are the physical properties? What are the all, all those constants? And and settings. That's the configuration file, and then there is a surface geometry. That that is the input. Maybe I can show you very from the beginning. So I start from very very from the beginning. I'll, um, I'm in total commander, so I will jump somewhere very to the to the case, the radial compressor. So you always start with opening the file, the configuration file, which has the extension tcfd, like to machine cfd. So uh, I have my file, which is the standard tutorial radial compressor dot tcfd. I can just press enter on it. It opens in Paraview and it gives me uh, basic settings. It, it, so the Paraview can read this tcfd uh, file and on, on my left hand side bar there is everything uh, all all the settings so uh, what what type of machine uh, where the file is located and then i'm not going to go one by one there is all the settings uh, perhaps uh, during the during the today's webinar we will we will speak about it but but for now just general information there is there is uh, all of the settings in graphical interface so you stay all the time in the graphical interface uh, one hundred percent of the workflow is served from the interface so once the turbo machinery CFD TCFD file is is red you you press apply then it's red then you you can see all those settings or you can you can modify all those settings uh, you you can watch your your surface file and then you can specify how many speed lines how many uh, what are your boundary conditions, of course, uh, how many, uh, for example, iterations, what are the stop criteria, uh, you, you specify anything. And once you're satisfied, you can, you can, uh, then then important step is to run the TCFD manager, which is special filter, it's here. Uh, like icon with arrows, and also it can be searched from from the filters. It's a special filter from from Paraview, which handles all the all the all the simulation. So you can you can load it, and press apply. Then the the Turbo Machine CPD Manager, the simulation manager, is loaded. So you have your file radial compressor TCFD with all those settings. Then you have Turbo Machinery CFD Manager, which is a special filter where you can say you want write down your case. You can specify the name or you can leave the default settings and you will get the default name. So I say write my case. So the, the case is being written down uh, basically, it's standard open foam case, of course, with special boundary conditions, with special settings, with special function objects, and uh, I would say hundreds of special uh, tunings from CFD support to make available running turbo machinery uh, machines. Uh, okay. Uh, so you run, run, write down the case, and then you can decide what to do. You can go manually. You can create the mesh. You can run the calculation. You can, of course, you can. You can once you're satisfied with the results, you can skip to the next point anytime. You can about about the calculation. You can write down the the current results and then about the calculation. What is really important. Each simulation has its 
very detailed report and it can be updated anytime. So once you simulate, you, you have your you have your report and uh, any time during the simulation you can click you can click in tcfd manager you can click to update report and your report with results is updated you can do it anytime so depending how many speed lines you have how many points you have you can you can watch uh, the results which were which were computed till till this time and uh, the report is very detailed there are many statistics of the simulations of time uh, yeah all of them residuals flow, flow rates also the efficiencies how they developed in time how they how they are standing against the flow rate or uh, the same with torques uh, total pressure differences which is important and that's the pressure ratio basically uh, what are the total pressures uh, uh, per interfaces that's important how your how your total pressure is spent when, when going through your machine uh, uh, the same with velocity magnitude you can you can uh, watch uh, your how, how your velocity magnitude is developing via interfaces I will by the way I will look if the okay the broadcast is running so can you can hear me okay I can go ahead uh, okay so there's the velocity magnitude and also there are there are special evaluations uh, at the interfaces the circumferential angles and meridional angles for for really detailed oriented machine designers you can see what are the angles uh, the average angles uh, at every interface and you can during the simulation you can update the you can update the report anytime watch the results uh, you can stop the simulation you can rerun the simulation you can change the settings uh, go back really it's really it's yeah it's really comprehensive in this sense after after the simulation is finished you can you can do the visual post processing you 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 know the efficiencies you you know the all the statistics you know torques you know pressure ratios then you can do a special visual post processing which is called turbo blade post it's uh, again a set of plugins for paraview where you can you can watch for example the, the meridional averages of your machine uh, yeah, the meridional average of the pressure, for example. Uh, yeah, and and uh, for example, blade to blade, which is again quite important at at any level between between hub and shroud. You can specify you want to see how, how the flow is. Uh, how is your flow developing? You can see, uh, you can see stream traces via surface lit filter. You can see separations. You can see how how smooth is it, your your fluid flow uh, anywhere in your in your machine. So this is really also quite quite interesting. Of course, any variable is 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 possible to view so yeah this is the uh, this is the yeah this is this this was the general introduction so I'll, I'll take a look into 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 my notices what what is quite important to say uh, yeah so the the process is automated uh, so you can you can do you can run the the tcfd manager there, there you can uh, run uh, clicking the run all you can you can run all the process 
and just just you, then you wait for the results and you get you get the information when the simulation is going to be finished uh, yeah so the the most easiest easiest way how to simulate your machine is simply to take the I will show you on our website the most easiest way how to simulate your machine is to take the tutorial um, so yeah is to take the tutorial in download in download cases there are a couple of tutorials so this is the radial compressor so the, the most easiest way how to simulate a compressor is to take the tutorial uh, download the tutorial which is pretty simple you can you can say okay i want to download the tutorial it gives me the tutorial it's compressed in zip i can you can download it extract it and then you you open the then you open the the tcfd configuration file and you can replace the geometry which is specified in settings uh, you can replace the geometry uh, in in the settings so you can say what what's your inlet what's your outlet uh, what what's the for example when speaking about the impeller component you can use you, you it's better to specify what's your hub what's your shout what's your blade what or what are your blades and and uh, you can go one by one in the settings. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious. If you if you hesitate, what's what the settings? What's the meaning? For example, what are the what are the physical dimensions? You can you can watch the configuration file manual where. Is the, the basic explanation? What are the what are the what's the physical meaning? What are the other options you can specify? But practically, you you stay practically you stay in all the time in the in the paraview in the graphical interface in the turbulation CFD from the very from the beginning to the to the final results. You can save everything, of course. You can really do the do the save data, uh, save turbo machine is CFD setup to the new setup. You can you can get back anytime, so you can very easily save the configurations with some plain text file and use them anytime in the in the future. You can get back, uh, so it's really really smart in this way. Uh, okay, I'll go. This was the, the general introduction. I'll go back to the to the okay yeah yeah still here okay i'll go back i'll go back to the uh to the q a and take a look and i have to say i cannot see any q a uh, any questions right so there are any questions uh, there are no questions here i'll can also take a look give me a second okay i can show you maybe it's, that's the best way i can show you I can show you what I see. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I see, and it's uh, it's this. This is what I see. Well, 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 well. No, no, no. This is uh, well. Yeah, the webinar. The webinar is here, and I have to say I cannot see any questions here. There are some. Well, well, well. Okay, no, no, no. There are no questions here. I will. Take a look to my email. Okay, there is there are no questions here. Okay, so what I will I will go go ahead on my own. So I'll go yeah maybe maybe a little bit. Uh, what I can do is showing. Okay, for example, the post processing or will I? Okay, so. There's the okay. I can say a little bit about the, the meridional average, which is, which is. I can show you what it is. Uh, sometimes uh, the rotating machine designers are interested. Uh, how uh, 
particular field, for example, pressure is spent when flowing through the through your machines uh, at the impeller, for example. So this is the this is the, there is a special filter which is called meridional average that which is applied uh, on on volume field that's important it's always applied on internal mesh just the internal mesh uh, everything has to be switched off so uh, you can apply uh, this filter on internal mesh it, it's now you, you can see it's alive so i can click it i can use it i did it already i have used default settings and it gives me such a such a plane uh, this plane which is yeah it's obviously the the, the meridian a simple plane, flat plane, uh, the, uh, a meridian of, of the machine. Maybe I can switch. Do, can I do this? I will try and maybe maybe I should make this made this transparent. So 0 0.2. Okay, here you here you can see here you can see that's what I'm speaking about. That that's my machine. That's my compressor and this meridian is is the average you can you can you can you can see the that's the average of all the values uh, like like circumferentially averaged so okay um yeah that's the that's the meridional average uh, of course you can see any any value so for example total pressure is well, 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 okay, okay, the, the clip. I can take a look what's the total total temperature. Okay, not very interesting. For example, what's my velocity? Okay, perhaps the, the relative velocity. Okay, and yeah. Total pressure, for example, how it is how it is developed uh, in in the meridional view. What what is also important is the blade to blade view. So you can do the you can do the transformation, which is called turbo unwrap. Again, the special filter uh, for para view, which is called turbo unwrap, and it can it can. Yeah, it can do a special transformation. Your your impeller can be transformed to to the to the like hexahedron, and the, the the intervals are like one, one, and two p. And in this transformation, you can see for uh, any any quantity, any field. Uh, uh, it's it, you can see it's plain anywhere between hub and shroud. So this is important. So you, this is, for example, 50% plain between hub and shroud, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. So this is the relative velocity. You can using this relative velocity, you can you can see uh, how the how the fluid flow is is flowing especially important is how you how you how the flow meets the leading edge and the, how it leaves the, the tra trailing edge uh, in the impeller uh, what what's the angle of attack especially at, at the close close to the tip uh, yeah what you can see is yeah any quantity of course so you can go for you can go for the pressure for example total pressures uh, yeah all, all the all the quantities it's it's pretty a lot of them uh, okay so that's the blade to blade yeah anywhere yeah any 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 plane between hub and shroud uh, uh, where am I? Okay, I'll go back. I'm sorry. Uh, you can, you can, yeah. So I'll go back to my 
blah, 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 to the webinar, which is here. I'll take a look. Okay, so, okay, Debas is asking, uh, hi, Lubos, will you share this webinar via YouTube? Uh, yes, I will. So, hello, hi, Debas. We have, we have met, we, have, we made some, some discussions in the past. Yes, yes, it will be shared in the YouTube, so you can, you can view this webinar via YouTube. I will, I will do that. Uh, you can, uh, is the link? Okay, uh, yeah, it's it's the second last uh, answer. So there's a link where where you can see uh, the YouTube uh, YouTube channel where where the where this video will be will be uploaded uh, just soon after this soon after this webinar stops. So so that's the question from the uh, from the right from the webinar and, and I'll go go back yeah 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 I say stop sharing my desktop it which brings you to me I hi I'm here I'm still here and yeah and uh, well, well, well and then there are some questions here okay Mr. Pirkle you mentioned the software usage won't be limited by core number how about its capability in calculating several parallel simulations at once? Uh, can it work in HPC with hundreds of cores? Uh, Abdul Rahman Hassan. Uh, Abdul Rahman, yes, it's not limited in, at all. At all, not, no, no limits at all. So you can have 100 sessions, 100 core, course each and it's no limited so we we take a client for example the hassan company we we sell the software to you and you can you have no limitations at all really no no limitations and you can keep the software forever uh, of course the the time uh, for which the software is updated and maintenance and and supported that we have we provide extensive support so there are sitting experts here behind this wall and they're really masters of their of their branch and we, they, they they support you they support you until your technical support is valid so but, but the software is for is you can keep the software forever and you can there are no limits on it yeah so that's the that's the Hassan's question. Uh, Casey Park, hello, Casey. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, to see you again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain the format of the input geometry in detail? Uh, yeah, yes, Casey. Okay, let's let's spend uh, some time there. So I'll go there. I'll go there. So I'm going to. I'll go there. So I'll share you my screen now. Sharing. Okay. 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 okay yeah. So. Yeah, basically. So, in open form, in any CFD, I'll start from the beginning, very from the beginning. So, in any CFD, especially in open form, you never start from the scratch. You never start from the scratch. You always need to grab somewhere which is working, which is similar to your case, and and modify it. That's how it works. That's how people get results. You never start from the scratch. So, if you're interested. Uh, if anybody's interested in simulating uh, a compressor, do the following. Uh, of course, you need to have some version of the CFD, perhaps the, the demo or, or the paid version, and download the download the download the tutorial. You 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 should start from the tutorial for sure. So download the tutorial from our website, and then modify it. Uh, you can load the Turbo Machinery CFD configuration file, which is file.tcfd. You load it in Paraview, and you are here. You have these settings on your left-hand side. Just forget this this right-hand side. You, you see everything here in your left-hand side. So the, here's the menu, and here's the full configuration. Everything is here. Here is some general settings where your configuration file is located. Uh, uh, what's your machine type? 
uh, what's your coordinate system uh, system uh, yeah so origin is any point of axis of rotation axis is the directional vector of of uh, axis of rotation so basically this configuration says coordinate system says what is your axis of rotation and you can see it's the it's the z it's the z axis because point zero 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 lies uh, on on a, a line which has the directional vector uh, zero zero one okay so you're, you're the axis of rotation you can you can say i will scale it so you might have your model in millimeters then you say my scale factor is 0 0.001 because you uh, open form in general works always in 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 si units right so so you, you need to go in meters so you can go in millimeters but you need to scale them to scale it to scale your model uh uh yeah feature edges uh, yeah, it's special option for us. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna comment it now. And not very important uh, for the beginners uh, at the beginning. Uh, physical settings. You can use the, the gravity. You can use. Okay, so it's obvious. You can go compressible or not, or incompressible. Use specific your dynamic viscosity, which is physical property of of any fluid. You can say what's your reference density. Again, uh, uh, that's. Uh, a typical typical uh, property of any, any fluid reference pressure reference temperature what's your fluid what's your molar weight uh, what's the heat capacity and the physical settings now the speed line settings you may say how many speed lines you want to simulate so you might be interested in one or in in 10 speed lines which is the speeds of rotation you can you can say uh, how many speed lines we have three speed lines each speed line has its uh, rotation speed of course in radians per second or it can be in rounds per minute of course uh, that each speed line may have any number of points right uh, and each point has its number of iterations the number of iterations it's a, it's a, it's the option which can which may not be necessary reached because there's also auto stop mechanism and I, i'm not gonna go very much to the details but there's auto stop mechanism so you can specify it, uh, the conditions at which you are satisfied with the with your with your results and you want to skip to the next point i will go ahead uh, inlet boundary conditions of course yeah you can so the so we we recommend to compute such a compressor with total pressure at the inlet and the fixed static pressure at the outlet again you specify the boundary conditions for each point and yeah that's the that's, those are the boundary conditions the simulation settings uh, yeah, of course, number of processors. Uh, there are some limits on your fields, on your quantities that that may may help you for some unstable uh, setups. It, it might be useful to keep you keep you robust. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Numerical order. Yeah. Convergence check, auto stop, bind to core. It's those are really like special. You can uh, not very important. Uh, initial conditions are not very important. Yeah, and this is important. Components, right? Components. So uh, this this particular case has four components. It has four components. You can see four colors. Uh, each component is is one color. So component one is the impeller and it has uh, inlet patches it's just one and it's called rotor inflow outlet patches it's single one it's called rotor outflow there may, there may be any number of them so you can overweight like we can have 10 inlet patches so you can put 10 inlet patches but anyway inlet outlet the hub is uh, something here yeah, which is which is the the wall co close to the to the to the axis of rotation the shroud and and blades 
you can of of course you can you can add uh, like suction side the leading edges trailing edges uh, you can add caps you can add yeah pressure side suction sides and even yeah uh, many of them you you may specify is this component rotating yes uh, how many averaging planes do i need here uh, background mesh size this is very important because here you say i want to have the basic the basic cell would be three millimeters uh, that's very important uh, because you th this is this influence the the size of the mesh and the size of the mesh in a big big way influences the 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 time or the overall time of your simulation right so this background mesh size is very very important uh, uh, choice uh, important important uh, parameter very carefully with it uh, yeah you need you need to get somewhere the internal point which is any point from the inside of of your component the component uh, should be waterproof ideally it should be uh, vertex to vertex uh, you may specify the view diameter uh, it's not even it's not even mandatory but you can we, we like it we like to have it there but it's, it's more comprehensive you, you know you know more information about your machine yeah and you can have may have you can have cylindrical background mesh which is yeah and there are another options uh if you click this this gear gear wheel you can you can see uh, any components may might have many 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 other options which is basically more of most of them are uh, yeah, most of them are ref mesh settings. I'm not gonna go for uh, those details uh, just today. Maybe maybe some time later. Maybe we can. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going back to the webinar. Uh, can you explain the format of the input geometry more in detail? Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The high case, yeah. Again, the same again. Uh, that, that's what I did uh, right now. Uh, okay, another. Okay, this is this case. Hi, Lubos. Hi, hi, Casey. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, it goes. Uh, uh, hello. Can I use the mesh from other softwares like ISM CFD, uh, for example, TurboGrid uh, from Ansys? If it is possible, what would be the format to export, Alex? Hi, Alex. Uh, thank you for this question. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, yeah, I will answer it. Okay, so I'm going to the. Yeah, it would be the easiest way how to answer answer this question would be to come back to the. Yeah, so uh, Turbo Machine CFD as it is now, it does not allow di automatically read external meshes it will be in the next version so it will be part of the next version uh, i believe in 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 september or october we we will release new version there will be included this feature we, we are working on it currently uh, so it's not possible directly but you can do it in the in the in this step you can write the case right you can write the case which writes the case and instead of creating the mesh, or or you can create the mesh in Snap Hex Mesh, and then you can replace manually. So you you can add external meshes, you can, but manually. So you you write the case, create the mesh, then you replace manually in in the. I can show you. Uh, I'll go to the total commander. So this is the case. What I did this morning. Maybe maybe I can show. Okay, this is the case I've showed you. Uh, uh, just uh a second ago you, you would need to uh, import your your new mesh to open foam by the way you asked about the format so the msh fluent format is the best the the dot msh extension is is the best one we have great experiences you use a uh, special utility which is uh fluent 3d mesh to foam and and it if it is it, it should be ASCII, not binary, but ASCII, and it usually works very well. You can you can rename things, 
uh, and put them into uh, yeah, 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 the mesh is not here, but but okay, okay, I can show you here. So in constant, right? It's the open form. So in it, in constant in poly mesh, you can put the mesh here, and the rest is the same. Then you go back and you you say. I want to run my calculation and the, everything is the same. You have all the features, uh, the full report, uh, all, of, all of them. So, so yeah, so MSH manually. In the next version, in the, in the very next version, we will, we will, uh, we will, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, um, I'm back, yeah. So, yeah, it will be, yeah, 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 yeah. MSH is the is the answer and manual in the next version it will be uh, automatically there will be special option where you can specify it's MSH uh, these are the names of my patches because that you you need to merge right uh, because yeah and what's the hub what's the shaft what's the what's the what's the what are the blades and etc what is the inlet outlet and then then. Um, then it's gonna gonna be there. So in the next version, okay. Okay, currently. Okay, 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 okay. Done. Yeah. Okay. So I have to say I can't see any more questions and reminders. So I will I I will ask you to 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 put them if you have any, and I'll go to the. To the to a webinar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see any questions here. I'll go take a quick look into my email. Not there. Okay, okay. So I I think this this is it. I think I think I'm, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Please send me any time an email. Give me a call. Anything is waiting for you. It's transparent. We, we feel ready to tell you, to tell the world out loud that we are here. We have great software. And we are ready to, to show everybody it, it works. It's extremely effective. It's extremely affordable comparing to, to what's available in the market. So we believe this is this is a really big thing in the world of uh, CFD and numerical simulations of uh, rotating machinery. So thank you for your time. And yeah, bye bye. Yeah, see you next time. See you next time. Yeah. OK, OK, OK. And here I say uh, stop the broadcast. Yeah. Okay, bye.